In your daily activity in Rise of Kingdoms as a rocker, you are going to be smashing barbarians in barbarian forts. Let's test your knowledge. Whenever you're going to be attacking barbarians or anything that will give you experience points, that the secondary commander will receive the same amount of experience points as the primary commander. There are commanders in here in the game that are very specific into giving more experience points. A great suggestion for you is Lohar. Lohar has a skill that will increase the amount of experience points you can gain at the max level of this one would be 70% bonus. Lohar is a peacekeeping commander that will grant you some bonus damage towards barbarians. Well, you don't only get experience points from defeating barbarians, you also get loot whenever you defeat barbarians. So how do you attack barbarians? Well, for you to attack barbarians, it will require you to use your action points. Now you can also check your action point recovery. Action point can be used to attack barbarians, they will recover slowly over time. They can also be used to attack Barbarian Fortress and other neutral units. To attack Barbarian Forts, you must be in an alliance and you have to cast a rally so your alliance members can join you and you can defeat the Barbarian Forts with your alliance mates. You might be wondering where you can get Arrow of Resistance. Well, from attacking Barbarians, you have a chance to obtain this. And you're also probably wondering where you can obtain the Book of Covenant. You can obtain this from defeating Barbarian Forts. Whenever you defeat a Barbarian, there will be less action points required to the next target and it will stack up to five times. And it will only reset whenever your troops return to the city. Let's go ahead and defeat some Barbarians in here and I will show you that in the next turn, it would cost me 38 action point. Now, another great thing about the Peacekeeping Commander is through their talent points. Within the talent of the Peacekeeping, there is a talent called Insight. It will reduce the action point cost to attack Barbarians and other neutral units by 10. So, normally, you would have to start with 50 action points to attack, but with the Peacekeeping Commander with that Insight talent, it would start as a 40 action point requirement. Now, after I defeated that march, I will now have 38 action point cost. And you can see here, it had stacked one. It had reduced the action point cost by two. Whenever you run out of action points, you are going to be able to spend gems to convert it to an action point. Now, it would start about 100 gems and it will increase in increments of 50 gems per purchase. Now, keep in mind, whenever you are using your action points, do not fill it up all the way up to the max Let's say you have a 2,000 action points and your capacity is only 1,000. If you try to attack a Barbarian and try to return it back home without finishing the action, your action point will not get refunded back to you. Now, there are some instances where you have to use 5 Dispatch. Now, the benefit of having a 5 Dispatch attacking a Barbarian is going to eliminate that Barbarian quickly, and especially if you're participating in an event and there is a time limit. So one thing to take note with this is that attacking Barbarians with multiple armies is very very time saving and you're going to be rewarded for each march that defeats the barbarians now each rewards may be different depending on your luck a great way to conserve action point is using commanders that has area of in effect damage commanders such as like zuntu eight of lead kosunoki Yisongye. these commanders they have an area of in effect damage and by using this technique called Barb Chain, you can slowly drag your commander and lure other barbarians to your area of damage so that they will attack you without spending extra additional action points. This will really greatly save you a lot of action point. Now, the only thing here is a little bit of a tedious work, but you kind of have to put some effort into the game so that you can actually maximize some of the things in here. Here's some great technique that I can show you right now is we are using Richard the First in Yi Song Ye as a secondary. Yi Song Ye has the best area of an effect since he has the circular damage and Richard is a great tank. This is why we are using Richard the First as a primary commander because he will be able to tank many, many Barbarians and you can last in the field way much longer than using other commanders. Now that you know what are Barbarians, action points, and how to Barb Chain, you are now ready to start your journey in Rise of Kingdoms as a true rocker.